Hello everybody and welcome back to a Monday edition of Tyler's Sports Cards. Hope you all had an excellent weekend out there and today on the channel we are going to get into our first baseball rip of 2022. That's right, we have a Topps Gallery Hobby Box, Mega Box, whatever you want to call it, from Walmart for $80. There's 100 cards in here I do believe. Uh, yep, 20 packs, 5 cards per pack, and also 2 autographs, we'll be looking for that. Topps Gallery, known for its artistic designs in the past and drawings, this year is photographs with a sort of gallery-esque border, and I think it actually works out well for it. Uh, this might be my favorite year of gallery yet, and I haven't even looked at the cards myself. There's the odds, we'll get a couple rainbow foils, a private issue, and hopefully some other color as well to go with our autographs. So let's get right into it. 200 cards, so I got two mega boxes. They usually do blasters of this as well. I haven't seen any yet. Um, these mega boxes were, or hobby boxes, whatever you want to call them. I call them hobby boxes. I mean, this is tops, this kind of style of a hobby box, but they were available on walmart.com. They might still be available on Walmart. And I just haven't seen the blasters yet. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I didn't buy any blasters last year. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know if I'll buy any this year. Depends how I do with these boxes, would like to collect the whole set. Like I said, I like the design this year. So we're obviously looking for the bigger rookies from 2021 for one of the last times as we have passed into 2022 and top series one is probably less than a uh, month away, maybe late January, early February. There's Taylor Trammell, Glaber Torres, Garrett Cole private issue. So that's gonna be out of 250, I believe. Right there, 26 out of 250 on the Garrett Cole. Nick Castellanos and Tyler Stevenson. The rookie card logos kind of blend in there. Nothing too prominent. Thin gallery packs. There's Brandon Woodruff, Yogi Berra, Cody Bellinger. That card feels interesting. No, it's just normal. Vladimir Sr. and Alex Bregman. Uh, traditionally, I thought one, cards 1 through 150 were the base set for the gallery. It's, uh, 151 to 200 were short prints, but I'm not sure if that was the case this year based on the checklist. I think it's just straight 200. Pedro Martinez, Chris Bryant in the Giants uniform. This is our first look at a Rainbow Foils rookie card. So that's cool. Nick Madrigal, Deion Sanders, and Cattell Marte. Usually with Gallery, the autographs are pretty lower end rookies, but we'll see what happens here. We got Greg Maddox, Freddie Freeman. There's our first one. Drew Rasmussen, uh, not a bad player. Uh, was a starter for the Rays in game three of the ALDS, I believe it was this year against the Red Sox. I believe I went and saw him play, but not the name we're looking for. Rays pitcher is Drew Rasmussen, your mean Mercedes, and Reese Hoskins. In terms of value for $80, really need to hit a big name autograph. This is not a heavily desired set in the slightest. Mike Piazza, Michael Conforto, Masters of the Craft, Clayton Kershaw, Jose Devers rookie card, and Tyler Glasnow. I haven't hit any of the big, big rookies yet. Looking for the Kalnicks, the Indias, Bones, the Dells. There's Dylan Carlson, so that's a decent one. We'll put him to the side there. Looks like we have another rainbow foil coming up. There's Tatis. Randy Johnson is our rainbow foil. Nick Gordon and Marcus Simeon. I almost didn't recognize him with the red, blue Jay uniforms, Canada Day uniforms. Of course, he'll be wearing more red now with the Texas Rangers. There's Key Bryan, another solid rookie. Ronald Acuna Jr., Shane McClanahan, Jack Flaherty, and Anthony Rendon. A lot of base and a lack of inserts. Only one insert so far. There's Isak Paredes, Mike Yastrzemski, our Rainbow Foil of the Philly, JT Rio Muto, Vlad Jr. to go with my Vlad Sr. from earlier, and Tony Gwynn. There's Jonathan India, very nice. These just look so much better with photographs than the, the gallery borders. Blake Snell, there's a green it looks like, Ted Williams. It's gonna be numbered out of 125, number four of 125 on the Splendid Splinter. There's Starling Marte, a new Met, and Babe Ruth. Alec Bohm, solid rookie. Trey Turner, here's an MLB original, so it's supposed to kind of look like it's been creased. Uh, Wade Boggs, Wilson Contreras, and the Big Hurt, Frank Thomas. Oops, let's just finish this pile right here. Still looking for that second autograph. See if it'll sneak up on us. I did get a Luis Robert out of 99 last year. 
Brady Singer, Nolan Arenado, Wilson Contreras, who I've got a lot of autographs of recently, Luis Robert, and Roger Clemens. That Wilson Contreras, of course, was a rainbow foil. Daryl Strawberry, uh, Carlos Cray, another one of those MLB originals. Looks like Bo Jackson, Jackie Robinson, and Jose Abreu, the 2020 AL MVP. Here we go with Kyle Lewis, last year's Rookie of the Year. Willie Mays, we got a nice Babe Ruth card here. That is going to be numbered 60 of 99. I remember the name. Let's see for a sec. These are the, I guess that's the green pattern there. All right. Don Manningly and Salvador Perez, the home run champion of, uh, I think it's Tiger Show, hey, with 48 actually, but of 2021. There's Ian Anderson, Mark Canha. There's a modern artist of KB, Chris Bryant. Make room for him there. Justin Verlander and George Brett. So we're getting a little bit more inserts here. Still looking for that second autograph. Three numbered cards so far, not bad. There's Jake the Rake throwing work, doing better there. Aloy, Josh Donaldson, Rainbow Foil, Ryan McMahon, and Ryan Sandberg. Sometimes that fourth card in the package feels extra thick. I don't think it is anything, though. Is that Big Nate Pearson, Bo Bichette, David Ortiz looking to get in the Hall of Fame, Joey Votto, and Cal Ripken Jr. Coming down to the end here, only four packs left. Still an autograph to go. There's Anthony Rizzo in his Yankees uniform, Ernie Banks. We got Terry Scooball in the rookie card, Rainbow Foil, J.D. Martinez, and Mark McGuire. I'd like to get a big name rookie on the Rainbow Foil last year. I did get Boba Chat. So that's a pretty good one, still is. There's Jesse Winker, Derek Jeter. There's the next wave of Ryan Mountcastle. That's a cool insert. I like that a lot. I'm going to stack some inserts kind of to make room for the other autograph. But Corey Seager and Andres Jimenez. Benny, Andrew Benintendi, Ken Griffey Jr. There's the other autograph, it's Tucker Davidson. So we got two pitchers, Manny Machado and Sixto Sanchez. Here, actually, you know what, I have let's, let's showcase all the great inserts. Right. Last pack. Anything special, Byron Buxton, Andrew Vaughn's pretty solid. Bryce, Joey Gallo, and Luis Campusano to end it out. So that'll do it for gallery. That's pretty typical. Three number cards, two autographs. Unfortunately, just kind of whiffed on the names. A great uh, couple greens for historical legends of Babe Ruth and Ted Williams. Garrett Cole was out of 250. Our autographs, though, we whiffed on Tucker Davidson, who I've got autographs before, and Chrome, and maybe something else, too, and Drew Rasmussen um, of the Rays. We got a good number of... Uh, Rookies, Andy Vaughn, Jake Cronenworth, Alec Boehm, Jonathan India, Kai Brian Hayes, Dylan Carlson, we didn't get the Kelnick. Hopefully we have that in the second box, which will probably be later this week because I don't have any other sealed product right now. Um, this Ryan Mountcastle is really nice. I like these next wave cards. They're kind of thicker too, but that's cool. But yeah, that'll do it for Topps Gallery. Hopefully I can put together the whole set of 200. It'll take a little more than two hobby boxes because obviously you don't get 100 base cards per, but um, a lot of fun. Um, I enjoy Gallery. So make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed what you saw, we'll have more gallery, hopefully Chrome update, Bowman Heritage, whatever next on the horizon. Um, follow my Instagram and my TikTok down in the description box below. I appreciate it. And thank you. And I look forward to the next time.